This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to do another modeling video as I typically do and the topic of today is how to model a tennis ball, okay? We're going to model that in Maya and we're going to texture it in Keyshot, but the modeling is the main bit for this. And, um, you know, it sounds a bit simple, but I can assure you that it's quite tricky, okay? So definitely check that out. Now, if you are a patron to MA Tutorials, you will find this uh, file and all the Keyshot texture files and so forth in the shared drive for free, as usual. And if you want to become a patron, for as little as five bucks a month, you get full access, okay? So I'll put a link uh, below so you can check that out. And that said, let's jump into our video and let's get started. Here we go. All right guys, let's get started. So we're gonna do a fun little tutorial today. As mentioned, we are going to create a tennis ball, all right? Now we're gonna start off by creating a uh, polygon cube, oddly enough, uh, but that's just the way it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cube and we're gonna go in to mesh and smooth to give that a little bit of division there. Hang on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to our front view we're going to go in and we're going to right click go to vertex and we're going to take this top vertex and then these two at the bottom here and we're going to hit r and we're going to start to scale that until the bottom line is flat like so okay then we're going to jump into our perspective view and what we're going to do is we're going to start at this pointy part on the top here and we're going to start to select these edges going down and as we do that, at the bottom end where it's pointy, we're gonna follow that edge flow as well, okay? And I'll just complete this and then I'll show you guys what we've been doing so you can follow along, okay? So if I hit four for wireframe mode, this is basically what you're seeing, okay? And hopefully you can see that. So we're going over the top, we're going down underneath the bottom here over the top again and underneath the bottom again. Okay, cool. So we're gonna hit five for shaded mode. Now that we have that selected, we're gonna to go to edit mesh and the bevel. And don't worry about this. We're gonna set the fraction to 0 0.1. Let's see, maybe a little bit less. Actually, 0 0.1 isn't bad. We'll leave that at 0 0.1, okay? Then we're gonna right click at object mode. We're gonna to go to mesh and smooth again which will bring us a little bit closer to our model. It's already starting to look somewhat like a ball. And then we're gonna right click at object mode and we're gonna go up to our deform menu and we're gonna go down to sculpt, okay? As we do that, we get something that is already a little bit closer to a ball shape. And here we can add some more subdivision, okay? You can see that it's not perfectly round just yet. So we're gonna go in to mesh and smooth. And at this point, you can even bump that up with two subdivision levels. So you'll get this, right? Now, this very specific shape that we beveled in is starting to get a little bit invisible here. So we're gonna right click at our object mode. We're gonna select this guy. We're gonna hit Control A for attribute editor. And we're gonna look for that poly bevel tab for the bevel that we did. And here it is. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna set the segments to two. And as we do that, you can see that you can see the, um, the sections a bit better. If you decide to go up, you will get that a bit wider. Now, my personal preference is to make that a bit bigger. I'll even try and see what four looks like. Yeah, that's not too bad. So we're gonna go with four, or at least I am, and uh, you need to decide for yourself what you think looks best, all right? So now that that's done, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna right click, go to face, and I'm gonna select one of these faces here and shift, double click. So I got one going all the way around, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna hit shift period to increase that selection until I have everything selected that I want. This end looks good. Here I need one more. So click and shift, double click, like so. All right, now I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude. And let's try minus 0 0.02. And let's see if that's enough. You don't want it to be 
too close to the surface. So I'm just looking here to see whether that's okay. I'm gonna hold in my control key and left click and drag so I can increase or decrease that value. So let's try minus 0 0.04 and then I'm gonna to go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth. And let's see how that looks. It's a bit much, okay? So I'm gonna hit one to go back, hit control Z to go back a step and control Z to go back a step, come on. There he is, yeah. We're gonna right click again, hit three again. Yeah, that looks slightly better. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that, right? So we're still in preview smooth mode. So I'm gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. And this will be our final ball, all right? Now, uh, like I said, I'm gonna text with this in Keyshot. So what I need to do is uh, create a color ID map. So I'm gonna go in and give this uh, band here a different color. So I'm gonna right click at a face. I'm gonna go in and let's try that again. I'm gonna hit shift period to increase that selection as we did before. And here I kind of need to decide how far I wanna go with that selection, okay? So I'm gonna take that one, that's how far I'm gonna go. And then let's see. Uh, okay, I'll do that as well trying to do that quickly which is usually problematic and i think i did this one as well yeah all right so now that i have that selected i'm gonna right click assign new material and we'll do a uh, lambert doesn't really matter what color as long as we have a different color okay so I'm gonna to go to object mode. Let's see if that worked, it did. And now it's time to export our ball so we can go into uh, Keyshot and texture it. So I'm gonna select it. And uh, let's see, we're gonna to go to file. We're gonna to go to export selection right here. I'm gonna export it as an FBX. I already did some testing here, so we're just gonna disregard that. So let's call this uh, tennis ball, I don't know, um, key shot. Okay, export. And now it's time to jump into key shot. Here we go. And here we are guys. We're gonna go to file and new. Uh, there we go. File and import. Let's look for our tennis ball key shot. Hit import, give that a sec, and there we go. So before we add materials, I'm just gonna go into my environment and make sure that we've got ground shadows and ground reflections selected, okay? Okay, so we need to start with a, a texture for our ball and I want this red section here to be uh, something that resembles textile somewhat, okay? So we're gonna go to materials, we're gonna go to the, uh, let's see, cloth section and here we got a cloth weave. I'm gonna bring that in and drop that on top of that red section right there. I'm gonna double click on it so we can uh, tweak it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna go to the textures tab. And I'm gonna start by bringing the scale way, way down. And as we do that, and I'll just uh, zoom in a bit, you can see that it now looks much more like textile. And then we're gonna start to tweak the colors. So I'm gonna push this to white and you don't want to push all of them to white. So I'll push that one to white. And then the last one, we're going to push that slightly towards green because that will be the color of our uh, tennis ball. I'm trying to get with a little bit brighter green. Yeah, looks good. All right. So that's basically what I was going for. And uh, I think that turned out okay. And now for the ball itself, that's more of a tricky thing because I tried several things as I just uh, showed you. I had some tests there. Um, the thing is, there's not really a material in Keyshot that will resemble that uh, kind of furry, 
uh, hairy ball thing. And you could do that in uh, with XGen, you know, or with other uh, plugins in Maya. But considering that we're in Keyshot, uh, I wanted to do something that would be better. Now, it didn't really have anything. So I went to the cloud library and I picked up a material called Fur. It's on my download right here. And I'm just going to left click and drag and drop that on top. And as we do that, you can see that it looks uh, pretty bad. Uh, so we need to tweak that. Okay. So I'm going to double click on that material. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to my texture setting and I'm going to push that scale way, way, way down. And immediately it looks much, much better. Okay. So that's a good start, but now we need to tweak the color, which is um, a little bit more tricky. Okay. So we're going to go into the sheen section here, this guy right here and this seems to be a little delay just to hang on. Yeah, not quite sure why, but it uh, took a while. Um, and what I'm going to do is on my other screen, I'm going to pull up an example of a tennis ball. So I have a color reference and what I'll do is I will uh, go into this color here and I'm going to take that little color picker and uh, I'm going to select a color on that example that I have and hit OK. And then I'm going to go in and we're going to tweak this a little bit. So I'm going to push back the roughness slightly. The backscatter will kind of illuminate that outer edge there. And I don't want to do that too much. And then we have the edginess and I'll just bump that way up so you can see what happens. Basically same deal here. So be a little bit careful with that. So that seems to be okay. And then if we go into the textures tab, I'm going to start to increase the brightness. And as we do that, the ball starts to look a lot more like a tennis ball. Okay. Now we can tweak the contrast if we like, but that will not help us. So don't blow it out either. This looks kind of okay. All right. And I'm just thinking whether there's anything more that we need to tweak here. Let's see. We'll uh, check out the sheen. And uh, that's something that we can play with. I'm going to tweak that brightness a little bit as well. This is starting to look pretty good. Just throw that way up there to see what happens. Okay. Not, not too much. You want to be careful that you don't want to blow this out. Okay. Okay. Keep the contrast down. If you bump it way up, you're going to lose all that 3D feel to it. And you want to have that slightly lighter edge going around the ball there. So that kind of looks okay. So I'm kind of happy with uh, how this looks. So now it's time to choose our background, our environment, set up our lighting and do a render. Okay. So let's go into our environment and uh, we'll start off with the interior and let's try this guy. Okay. Now uh, don't look at the skill here. What we'll do is we'll go to our background and we'll just drag this in so we don't see that. And we'll maybe zoom out a bit like so. So that's one option. Uh, let's see what else we got. We can try outdoor. Nope, not happy with that. And that's the cool thing about Keyshot. Literally within seconds, you can just drag that in and you can see that it has a huge impact on what it looks like. Now, so far, this looks best as far as I'm concerned. So that's our outdoor. We'll just uh, check the interior once again. Nope, not that. That one possibly. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Okay, we'll do that. All right, then we need to go to our settings. So uh, let's see, we've got our ground shadows and our ground reflections going on. Let's uh, flatten the ground here. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to go to our lighting. It's at basic right now. So we're going to turn on ground illumination. We're not going to use caustics and we're not going to use interior, but we're going to leave that as is. And then uh, let's see, it's time to uh, set up our render. Just going to go into the settings here for a sec. 
Okay, so we're looking at our image. Do we want any effects in our render? Uh, do we want, for example, vignetting, which is uh, darkening the corners? And I'll do it quite extreme, so you can see what I mean. Um, kind of like that, so we'll do that a little bit. Uh, bloom, not really. Bloom is kind of, makes everything look a little bit faded, if you will. I'm not a big fan of that. That all looks okay. Uh, let's see, we're not gonna tweak anything as far as the camera is concerned. Uh, let's see, nope. Uh, lighting, uh, we got custom lighting set up. We'll increase the ray bounces to about 10. Indirect to about five. And I wanna increase the shadow quality to about two. Roughly two, okay? That's still all okay. Our environment, we got that set up. Now you can, uh, let's see. No, we're fine, we're gonna leave that. Material, we did all that and that's our scene, okay? So we're gonna go to our render. We're gonna go to our render settings right here. I'm gonna call this uh, final render t-ball. And I'm gonna save that on my desktop. 1920 by 1080, roughly 100 DPI, it's good. In my options, I'm gonna select maximum samples. All right, I'm gonna hit render, pause the video, and see you guys when it's done. All right, guys, well, here's our final render. Uh, I think it uh, turned out okay, uh, but hopefully this will be helpful for you guys when modeling, uh, you know, tennis balls, uh, baseballs, and so forth. Uh, and that said, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.